Jeez, look at all this mail. Uh, don't open any packages. Yeah, thanks. I'm not an idiot. Bills, mail. Don't bother. Won't stick. Peels off every four weeks. Oh my God. Sharona, I've got it. What? The mail bombs. I know how he did it. What are you doing? Relax. They're my cigars from my guy in Key West. Nobody knows I get these. Does your brother know? Yeah, Brian knows I get these. It's a bomb! Don't open it! Oh. Ah! Oh, Do not move. It's okay. It's okay. Just don't move. It is now motion sensitive. Don't move. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop saying okay and do something. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm talking to the bomb squad and they're on their way. There are no wire cutters in this cabinet. They're right there in the tin bucket. Will you hurry up? I don't know how long I could stand like this. Okay, he wants to know how many wires you see. Four wires. You still want to quit? Four wires. You'll never have as much fun in New Jersey. He says, cut the wire leading from the detonator to the battery. There are two, a blue and a red. What is that? Light turn green. Light turn green. He says, you have 10 seconds, cut one of the wires. Which one? Either one, it doesn't matter. Okay, blue. No, no, red, no, red. Blue. Cut one, cut the blue one. Five seconds. Why blue? No, but cut the red one. You said blue. Three seconds. They said cut one. I'll cut them both. You okay? Yeah, it's just your basic mail bomb. No big deal. So I heard you're leaving New Jersey. You gonna miss me? Nope. Oh, maybe a little. Do me a favor and call me sometime to remind me why I left. I'll do that. Can everyone see? Yeah, we can see. It's just a mailbox. What the hell are we doing here? Well, first off, I'd like to thank United States Postal Worker Tamil Swarma for helping us out here today. We're glad to help our brothers and sister in the law enforcement community. We just wear a different shade of blue, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Brian Babbage wanted to kill his brother and sister. He found a way to mail a bomb in May, but not have it be delivered until August. It was quite brilliant, really. Yes, it was. Although by doing so, he violated two federal laws and a score of postal regulations. Go on. When I recently saw some wallpaper peeling off a wall, it reminded me of the ketchup bottles in Brian Babbage's closet. They were glued to the ceiling. The glue was the key. There was no glue in the bomb. It wasn't part of the bomb. It was part of the delivery mechanism. Exactly. It was an experiment, a stress test. The ketchup bottles weighed about the same as the mail bombs. He was trying to find out how long they would stick before they fell off. I don't get it. Tamil. Four months ago, Brian Babbage went around the city late at night, cracked open the panel on a couple of these mailboxes. These locks are pretty simple to pick. I've talked to my supervisors, but they don't listen. Tamil. Don't make waves. Tamil. Everybody just wants to hit their 20 and get out. I can take it from here. Brian put the bombs in the mailboxes, but he didn't put them on the bottom with the rest of the mail. He glued them to the top. You see, it's a blind spot. Nobody ever looks up there. Why would they? Four months later, the glue dries up, the bomb falls down, and the next day the mailman picks it up with the rest of the mail. It was like a time-released mail bomb. The US Post Office unwittingly became the messenger of evil. Who'd have thunk it? Well put, Tamil. And by the time they were delivered, Brian had a perfect alibi. He put himself in a coma? That's his alibi? That's the stupidest plan I ever heard of. He came this close to killing himself. I was stumped too. But then I realized that wasn't his plan at all. No one would plan to be in a coma. 
His idea was to get himself arrested so he would be in jail when the bombs were delivered. That's why he tried to lead us on a car chase. He figured he'd be in jail for seven or eight months. He even picked out a terrible lawyer to make sure that he wouldn't get off. But he screwed up and he hit a truck. And then a car, then another car. Brian Babbage stumbled, literally by accident, into the best alibi in the history of crime. I mean, where's your proof? Brian Babbage woke up this morning. I have arranged for all of us to pay him a little visit. This is going to be great. Not you. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do.